Hey guys, it's Thomas and welcome to a game called Kyle is a Famous. Now, from what I have read, this is a, supposed to be a text-based game and it has a lot of endings. I think 20 or something, I can't remember right now, but yeah, this is a text-based game. I don't think I've ever played text-based text game myself and on the channel as well. So, well, I did watch um, text-based games. As a matter of fact, I'm actually watching a text based game right now. Buried on Markiplier channel. Anyway, so let's uh, go into the game and see what's up. I'll uh, start. Kyle wakes up, he is famous. Uh, more? Okay. Kyle is the host of most. Kyle is host of the most popular talk show in recent memory. Stay up late with Kyle. Stay up late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly in the last year and the public has announced okay inside has called kyle a most excellent dumpy white man top tech noted that kyle is inspiring you to explore stem fields most other talk shows are, dis are dedicated to discussing kyle and his personal details so what you're saying is kyle is a host of a talk show and he is popular and other talk shows are talking about kyle and his personal details. Wow, <laughs> he must be really famous. Most online videos are best of clips taken from Kyle's latest broadcast. Okay, the eye of the world is upon Kyle. <laughs> Tonight is Kyle's most important guest interview yet. Stay up late with Kyle will be featuring Rachel May. She is a kind and lovely philanthropist. Philanthropist, I think that's how you pronounce it. I mean, <laughs> she is dear to the hearts of many. This, is, this interview requires preparation. <clears throat> Kyle cracked his eyes open, knowing today is his last chance to prepare for the interview. Or, Kyle has 30 hours left. He must choose his, wise, his actions wisely. Okay, Kyle's first decision of the morning was made wisely. With are away, exit the bed. Ooh. I don't know. Let's, let's make wise choices right now. <laughs> Kyle exit, exited his bed and took a quick glance around his bedroom. Sit at desk, open the closet, scavenge. Huh, what would I get after exiting the bedroom to the hallway? And it's also yellow colored, so, okay. Mm. How about we scavenge? I don't know. Maybe exit the bedroom? Kyle walked into the small hallway that connects the rooms of his apartment together. I mean, leave apartment? Kyle walked out into the middle of the road and took a long, pender pondering look around him. Visit downstairs neighbors? Return to the apartment? What? Why is this yellow? Oh wait, I think yellow means returning or exiting something. I, I don't know. Visit tech store, visit downstairs neighbors. Kyle approached his downstairs neighbors door and knock, knocked. More. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered at the door. She looked at Kyle ex Pectantly. Greet and start conversation. Good morning, neighbor, said Kyle cheerfully. Gabby looked at Kyle expectantly. Ask Gabby about Gabby and ask Gabby about Rachel. Rachel, probably. Gabby, Kyle asked, What are your true thoughts about Rachel May? <clears> Hello, <throat> oh, Rachel. Gabby said she's a wonderful woman. Her generous acts have inspired more good work than bad. Every single line takes one hour off. <laughs> Gabby trailed off, not meeting Kyle's eyes. After several uncomfortable minutes of silence, comfortable minutes, minutes, you mean hours, Kyle turned around and left. Okay. Kyle walked out into the middle of the road and took a long, pondering look around him. Was a tech store. Kyle walked into the clean, white tech store. He was greeted by a techno gym, an elaborate cutout mascot with flashing lights. Ah, uh, free samples. Steel Techno Gym. Why would I steal it? Okay. Kyle asked the store attendant whether or not they were offered, whether or not they offered any free samples to important customers. More. The attendant gave Kyle a confused and slightly vacant look. Kyle began to beg for a free sample. Wanting Kyle to leave, the attendant grabbed his decrepit phone meant for spare parts and held it out. Grab with teeth. Why would I grab it with teeth? Weird. Kyle took the phone placently from the outstretched hand and said quietly thanks for your service more kyle now has this phone to use forever more back to the store 
Harvard entered the clean white tech store. He was greeted by technology. Uh, oh, give me a free sample. Okay, this phone. Kyle said he's several years old and has exposed wires coming out of the back. Kyle continued, the phone also has had screen issues after I used it to hammer nails into the walls, into the wall of for painting. <clears throat> Wait, you already <laughs> used the phone this much, like minutes after borrowing it? Furthermore, when I submerge it in water, I get severely shocked until it runs out of battery. The attendant looked at Kyle, pursed his lips, and said nothing. Feeling he had made his argument, Kyle decided to leave. Eve stone. Kyle walked out into the middle of the road and told her, um, so, I want to steal the techno gym. Quickly before the attendant could not acknowledge him, Kyle grabbed techno gym by the shoulders. Finding that techno gym's cardboard feet were bolted to the ground, Kyle started to pull upwards forcefully. After several tugs, Techno Jim broke free, leaving one foot and one leg behind. Kyle glanced at the attendant, who was staring bewildered, and ran outside. <laughs> okay, Kyle walked out into the middle of the road and took a look. Okay, it's an apartment, and is that it? I have some things on the top. Kyle hurried to the set. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Approached Rachel. Rachel's smile quickly turned to shock as she realized Kyle had not put on clothes that day. <laughs> You're telling me I, I had to put on clothes and do everything that I had to do in the morning. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'll be this by broadly. Rachel uncomfortably averted her eyes. Okay. <laughs> Kyle started making his rounds around the room, greeting each crew member, none of whom looked at him directly. <laughs> As it became apparent that Kyle had no intention of leaving, Rachel made some excuses and exited the set. One by one, the crew followed suit. Kyle was left all alone, and Kyle prepared, <laughs> Kyle prepared by being a nudist. Wow. Oh yeah, ending 1 out of 21. So I was right, there are 20 endings, or 21 to be exact. Okay, let's uh, let's actually not, yeah. Let's make some, oh, browse social media. Wait, now I have a phone, so now I can, oh, now I can use a phone. Let's actually make some wise choices. So, browse social media. I started to scroll through news articles on this phone, read article. Stay up late with Kyle, ranked one, and number two, show on television, read more. New East Bridge being constructed after being found to not actually exist. Authorities investigating. Another grand larceny, la lars larceny <laughs> in crime spree streak, streak, streak. Evidence points to per perpetrator fleeing the country. Rachel may to unexpectedly leave the country on very, very long vacation after interview tonight. Who is the bug vigilante? Recently spotted pursuing Larcenist. Wait, so I can just browse social media as long as I want. I want to see what ending do I get. Kyle fails to show up to several charity events. Bug Vigilante shows up to charity events with fresh baked pastries. Donations flourish. Hot dogs making resurgence as fuel source for both humans and tugboats. Phone model recalled. Techno gym stores claim overuse by customers. Kyle's phone exploded in his hands from overuse. Oh, so I can't. God damn it. <laughs> Kyle exited his bed and took a, a quick glance around his bedroom. So, open the closet. First off, we are closed. Kyle opened the closet. It was dark and he could only see his hanging shorts. Choose an outfit. Kyle decided to take some time to choose the perfect outfit knowing how important appearance is. Uh, I don't know, man. Je jeans and swimming goggles. What? Slick suit. Suit of armor. Skunk pasties. Slick suit, maybe. Kyle miraculously crammed his dumpy body into the suit. The chest pockets were filled with random knickknacks. Why are you like this? Why? Scavenge? Kyle quickly crouched down on the floor, realizing his immediate need for... Hmm, bugs, I believe. Gossip. <laughs> Kyle from me pressed his ear into the carpet. What did you say? Into the carpet, hoping to hear some stray words from the neighbors below. 
I heard Richard May is going on a trip out of the country soon. Oh, girlfriend, tell me more. Tell me more. Well, what I will tell you is that every night I don't a mask that looks like a bug and fight Miss Doors. There was a stern silence, then a door opened and someone exited the neighbor's apartment. That's quite enough. Okay, sit at the desk. Kyle made his way over to the desk and sat down. Right close for interview. Oh yeah, that's probably important. Let's uh, let's 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 postpone the important stuff. Check in desk drawer. Kyle opened up the side drawer on his desk and grabbed one of the items stored there. Small key, sorted change. Kyle scooped up the chains scattered around the desk drawer. Okay, uh, uh, hold on, I wanna get the small key. Kyle grabbed the small key and he kept in the desk. Okay, so I have change. I have some things to write, I think, on the top, and then I have a key. I have a phone, I believe, and then I have a I have a suit, I think. Yeah, I have a suit. Okay, so right now for the interview. Kyle wrote down his first question. So zero hours left, though. Am I <laughs> am I a mother? Are you a mother? Is your mother a mother? <laughs> are you a mother? Okay. I wrote down his second question. What are some diet tips? Beef, mashed or blended? Ever eaten a raw egg hole? So are some diet tips, I believe. Uh, Kyber, okay. Third question. What's your funniest story? Do you ever smile? Purposely run out of, ran, ran over a puppy. What's your funniest story? Okay. Fourth question. Last question. Okay. What's your guilty pleasure? Do you feel guilty? Are you guilty? Um, what? Guilty pleasure, I believe. I ripped his page of notes out of the notebook and got it from test. I thought he just ripped his actual notes. Like, not giving a shit. Uh, back to the room. Uh, I made his way over to the desk and sat down. Uh, checking the desk, desk drawer. Back to the room. And there goes the interview. Kyle hurried to the set. Okay? Sitting across from his host here was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. I can't pronounce that word for some reason. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Okay? Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking at him in the eyes. I have been looking forward to being here. Okay? Kyle responded. Scream and spin in circles. Why? Answer politely. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle, extending his hand in greetings. In greeting, you are a most welcome guest. Shake hands. After another mild exchange of pleasantries, pla pleasantries, <laughs> Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. A moment after seating, the studio, goddamn, that's really loud. The studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Cosmo and neighbors stopped. I could do that though, but hey. Gossip about neighbor. Stop, bro. Hold on, let's do that first. Good evening, everybody, said Kyle. My neighbor is a bug whistle. <laughs> With nothing more to say on the matter, he fell silent. Rachel also on camera stared at her hands and wondered when she was going to be introduced. The producer started cutting to different camera angles to break the tension. Kyle continued to remain silent and stare forward blankly. <laughs> After several minutes, neighbors... <laughs> Never can be walked out and said. Hi everyone, she said smiling hollowly. My name is Gabby and I'm not a bug vigilant. False. Kyle looked at Gabby and then returned to staring forwards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gabby began to reply but was interrupted by a bug shaped intercom on his belt. On her belt. Bug girl. It's quacked. A robbery is in progress on East Third. Report something. Gabby threw the intercom on the ground and crushed it under her foot. After a beat, she spoke again. Something has come up suddenly and I must go. Gabby left the set. Well, said Kyle, that's all the time we have for tonight. Thanks for joining us, Rachel. Kyle got up, shook Rachel's hand again and walked past the camera, leaving her alone. <laughs> Not knowing what else to do, the producer and she <laughs> the coming days, fans of both Rachel and Kyle dubbed this show as a, a masterpiece of television. Stay up late with Kyle's online pages were updated to reflect this broadcast as the most popular ever. Kyle's producer later tried to have tried to have Rachel on the show again, but she was very, very, very busy. Talked about Gabby. Okay, I wanna find some other ending as well. Um how about we 
don't wait does does this give us anything social media this does not give us anything hold on now bed uh open closet and uh, we're is something i don't think this really matters does it stick suit i will go with that um then we'll have a uh, to do we need to do this back to the bedroom hold on that even waste my hours let me see check in desk drawer um yeah i have a sort of change and uh, wait i sort of change i can probably use it to buy something from the tech store uh how about a small key maybe that helps me hold on uh are you a mother and uh what are some diet tips uh, what's a funny story guilty pleasure and uh, back to the desk ah uh, shit i ran out of time all right is this the same a moment after sitting, the studio lights be brightened and the cameras will turn. Okay, this time I didn't hear the neighbor, so I can just start the broadcast. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle, introduced Rachel. Tonight I have this pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Kyle <laughs> needs no more, more, no more introduction, I think. Um, I need to learn some more about Rachel. Kyle mentioned to motion to Rachel who smiled and waved at the camera hello Kyle she said I'm glad to be here more and in response Kyle collapsed on the floor from a combination of stressful preparation and not eating anything Kyle had passed out I had to eat something <laughs> the body in the studio quite knew what to do with him they began to poke Kyle in the back to see if he moved <laughs> after a while then in the broadcast shut off the lights and went home <laughs> Kyle was left face first on me by starving himself. Wow. So you're telling me after starting the broadcast, he felt the need of hunger. But while talking about labor, he didn't feel any need of hunger. Wow. Okay. So I need to eat, I need to wear clothes, I need to I need to find something more about uh, uh, Rachel herself. And maybe I have to I, I don't think either way is a good option. I don't think Brossy's social media gives me anything. Um, so hold on. Sit at desk and we're gonna, gonna get some change. I don't know why I need the key. Move to the kitchen? Okay. Uh, check lock door. Why do I need that? Hold on, let me eat something. Open fridge. Check pantry. Eat crust on the fridge wall. Eat the fridge. <laughs> Prepare breakfast. Uh, eat the fridge. Eat condiments. Prepare breakfast. Uh, okay, heat and uh, return to the kitchen. Carl ate the breakfast slowly and thoughtfully, enjoying her every bite. He felt refreshed. Okay, the interview started. Carl hurried to the set. Um, I approached her uh, answer politely, shake hands. Okay, Carl's about neighbor, which uh, I don't think. Oh, hold on, what? Why does it tick on these? I think that's just the logo. Okay, gonna introduce Rachel. No more introduction, that's the problem. I'll motion to Rachel. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll have a lot. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss, so we might as well dive right in, said Kyle. I'm I'm very ready, says said Rachel with a winning smile. Kyle produced notes he had taken earlier. Are you a mother? Rachel, I and many others would love to know, are you a mother? Kyle looked up from his notes. Well, being a single woman with a career, she answered, that's not something that has crossed my mind. Rachel smiled genially at Kyle. Okay, very reasonable indeed. Uh, said Kyle, he referenced his paper of questions. Kyle asked another question, what's your funniest story? You are involved in a lot of different things, said Kyle, but what's your funniest story? Well, that's a great question, Kyle, said Rachel. I think the story I always remember is the first time I tried to make dinner for my family. And the soup I made, I swept out the water with milk and tipped the whole jar of salt in the pot. Wow. While my family was sick from trying to eat it, I swept their things and locked myself in the room. In my room. Rachel laughed <laughs> intelligently. Kyle decided to move on. Okay, what are some good tight tips? Rachel, you managed to keep such a thin and healthy figure, said Kyle. What is your best diet tip? Well, a good diet starts with a plan, answered Rachel, and don't break it. Three days can turn into a habit. But she continued, big butt. That doesn't mean a midnight snack here and there isn't allowed, she smiled. Kyle looked at his flabby self, decided to not comment and moved on. <laughs> uh, guilty pleasure? We all have one. What's your guilty pleasure? Ooh, well, that's an easy answer, 
said Rachel, dipping pickles in chocolate sauce. It might sound strange, but it's tangy and sweet at the same time. I eat it far too often. Rachel smiled sweetly. After reading his final question, Kyle looked up from his paper more. Well, Rachel, he said, I think that's all I was planning on asking you. If that's the case, Kyle, may I ask you something in return? Asked Rachel, smiling one more time. Cool. Do you prepare for your interviews in advance? Because you seem very together. Before Kyle could answer, the camera shut down and the broadcast was over. Kyle returned home knowing the interview had gone well. But as he lay in bed and drifted to sleep, he felt that perhaps something was still missing. Oh, Kyle prepared very well, but not excellently, so he was missing something. How would I, how would I answer that? Okay. So, there's still more things to explore. Uh, check the locked door. Kyle walked over the strange door in the hallway, but found quickly that the door was locked from the inside. Uh, what? Forced the door with forehead? <laughs> That's not gonna work. How do I open that? Okay. I think that's uh, something that we can't open. I don't know why do I need the gossip thing. I don't think that's... I don't think we need that. Okay. Um, see if I can visit the tech store so I can buy something. Okay. Uh, Kyle walked in the clean white tech store. He was greeted by Techno Gym and an elaborate cutout mascot with flashing lights. Hmm. Buy batteries with change. Batteries for what? Oh, the camera was shut off, so I can buy batteries. Ah, oh, right. Uh, Kyle counted out one ninety one point ninety eight dollars in pennies and nickels and traded them for a small packet of batteries. Back to the tech shop. So, okay, we got batteries. Uh, we got food. I think if the interview will last longer this time. <coughs> so, that's it, I believe. Maybe if I can visit uh, the neighbor. That is on. Ah, I don't have time. Kyle hurried to the set. I think that's the maximum useful thing that I can do. Let's see. Uh, it's the same uh, till this point. We need no more introduction. That is the problem. Is that like scripted or is that supposed to change? Okay, so there we go. So the final question. Um, you prepare for interviews in advance because you seem very together. Before Kyle could answer, the camera shut down. The broadcast was over. I returned the home on the... Uh, why can I buy the batteries for? Flashlight? Why would I need the flashlight? Kyle grabbed the flashlight, but after jiggling the switch, he found it was out of batteries. Okay, move to the kitchen. I do need to check pantry. Let's see. Kyle wanted to exit the pantry, but found it was locked with a small keyhole. Oh! Hold on, hold on. Uh, return hallway. I want to check what this is. A lock with small key. The pantry door lock creaked as if it hadn't moved for years, but. Eventually, open look in the pantry. Serve an assortment of canned goods and greens. Kyle's pantry sort stored his massive amount of bottled lard. Check a bottle of lard. Grab a bottle of lard. What? Why would I need that? Kyle voraciously grabbed the closet, <laughs> closed his bottle, snapped the neck against the wall, and sucked out all the fat within a minute. Chuck. Check a lard bottle? Stop. I walked to the center of the kitchen. Okay, that doesn't seem to help. So, buy batteries. Okay, I inserted the flashlight. Kai crammed the battery in the flashlight. Sorry, he agreed with a title gym. Um, is it done? Ah, uh, well, this one doesn't help me with. I'll put on close that day, uh, and that's how it ended. So the batteries, the flashlight doesn't help, I think. Was that it? I don't know. I think I'm missing something. The camera goes out, is problem. What happened with the way? Kyle decided to stay put and with her way. Kyle whistled successfully and died. What? Shucks. Kyle is now a ghost. This does not relieve him of his responsibilities. Get out of bed anyway. <laughs> Well, that was a waste of time. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know. Browse social media doesn't help, I believe. Hold on. Um, there's an ending tab. Ah, 
Good interview, no food, no clothes, gossip. And we'll see. Oh, good interview. Good interview? But what about excellent interview? Is that it? That seems to be it. <laughs> I don't know man. <laughs> okay, I'll leave this episode here. This is going on for quite a while now. Man, 36 minutes in, but yeah, this was really nice. It got me hooked up for half an hour. Just wow. It was really good game. The text based game. The animations were really the animations were really nice. The, the story was really nice. And the sounds, the multiple endings idea, it's really good. Uh, so yeah, check out the game yourself, see if you can find more endings than I did and see if there's an excellent interview or something like that that you can end with. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out the game of the game, game's link in the description. Go ahead and support the developers and all that jazz. So thank you guys for watching once again. As always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.